Олег, давай с тобой пока подготовим фрагмент 6, шаг 9. Олег, let's prepare cue card 6 for right now. Step 9. Okay. And so 9.1. For those just tuning in, uh, you're watching our coverage of uh, today's spacewalk by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Cristoforetti, who are in the final stages of spacewalk preparations, running a few minutes behind schedule. You're looking at the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module that is uh, attached to the Russian segment of the International Space Station. And you see uh, the European robotic arm that uh, launched on Naoka back in July of last year. Naoka launching on a uh, proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. And we now have a backup pump and backup fan for both of us. And primary transmitter, copy that. And in the service module, we have free breathe and depressed. And we have five minutes and five seconds left for free breathe. Okay. Uh, so, if you would like, you can read the uh, cue card uh, 6, uh, step 9.2. Yes, this is your actions right after pre-breathe. We still have five minutes to go on the pre-breathe. Yes, that is correct. The valve is an injector, now five seconds. Injector is operating. And we will open pressure relief valve KSD-SO. And we will go to 0 0.12. And also we will monitor the suit pressure and we'll open pressure relief valve 2, KSD2. And this is as soon as we have this five-minute period elapsed. And we will have enunciation. And we will then open the valve to open EVA position. And close the KSDSO and proceed to final leak check. Yes, that is correct. Uh, we will start on my goal. We still have three minutes to go. Copy. That's good.
вот осталось 10 секунд. 10 секунд to go on a pre-breath. Что, Олег, когда счетчик у нас Олег, может so начинать работы? When you are done with the pre-breath count, you may proceed to step 9.2. Можно работать. Yes, the pre-breath count is at zero. And now injector, it's on for EV1 and EV2. And then watch the five-minute counter counting down and opening as the SO and, and pressure relief valve. In step of 40 millimeters, you may supply pressure. Copy. Will do. The pressure in the compartment now is 550. Copy. 520. Copy. In the suit, the pressure is 0 0.3 and 0 0.28 for EV1 and EV2. 470 and 0.34 and 0.36. This is Mission Control Houston. Artemiev and Christopher Reddy have completed uh, the pre-breathe of pure oxygen, cleansing the nitrogen out of their bloodstreams. They're now uh, pressing into the final stages of the uh, depressurization of the Poisk airlock that will set the stage uh, for final uh, suit checks, final communications checks, and the opening of the Poisk hatch that will mark the official start of today's spacewalk that is scheduled to last about six and a half hours. Uh, we set it at the top of our broadcast, but it's worth uh, mentioning again and uh, historic day as Samantha Cristoforetti becomes the fourth uh, European astronaut and the first female European astronaut to conduct a spacewalk in a Russian Orlan suit. The uh, first three Europeans who conducted spacewalks were Jean-Luc Chrétien in 1988, Thomas Ryder, who conducted two spacewalks in 1995 and 1996, and Jean-Pierre Hanier, who conducted uh, his spacewalk in 1999. So it's been 23 years since a European conducted a spacewalk in a Russian Orlan suit. Kretien, uh, Ryder, and Hanier all conducting their spacewalks outside of the Mir space station. And when you have zero on the counter, you may turn off the valve. 250 now in the compartment and 0 0.28 in the suit. Copy. Two twenty in the compartment and zero point three eight in the suit for both the uh, EV one and EV two and uh, the pressure inside the suit is stable. So when the pressure in SO is twenty millimeters BSS can be mounted to O2 open EVA. Once uh, the uh, hatch is open to the Poisk airlock, the uh, First order of business will be for Artemiev and Christopher Reddy to install a protective ring around the circumference of the hatch that will protect the hatch and its delicate sealing surfaces from any impacts from micrometeoroid debris that uh, might uh, strike uh, the area during the course of the spacewalk. First out of uh, the Poisk airlock will be Christopher Reddy. She'll be joined uh, thereafter by uh, Artemiev. Christopher Eddy will have a few minutes uh, to uh, adapt to the spacewalk environment, this being the first spacewalk of her career, the sixth for Artemiev. They will uh, gather up all of their uh, tools, and uh, the first task of the uh, spacewalk then will be 
uh, for Artemiev to deploy 10 nano satellites, one after the other, several seconds apart. Those uh, nano satellites, part of a uh, radio technology experiment. The uh, satellites, each about one pound apiece, measuring about six inches by six inches by 13 inches in length. The uh, ballistics officers, uh, both here and at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow, have uh, analyzed uh, the expected trajectory of the deployment of these 10 nano satellites and uh, determined uh, some time ago during reviews of today's spacewalk that they pose no hazard to the International Space Station. They'll be deployed retrograde into orbits of their own. Yes, it's um, complete. Now 80 millimeters in the compartment. I have a message Okay, Samantha, you may proceed per RODF. We have 60 in the compartment. Uh, copy. We are waiting for the message to appear on your display, Alex. And uh, 60 millimeters in the compartment. Copy. A good view of the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module and uh, the European robotic arm. At uh, the top of your screen is the Prashal node module that uh, arrived uh, to link up uh, to Naoka back in November of last year. Prashal uh, is a multi-hatched docking port for multiple vehicles, both uh, unpiloted and piloted Russian vehicles that will arrive at the International Space Station. It's uh, 40 millimeters in the compartment <coughs> and 0 0.36 inside the suit. Copy, Samantha. This view from an external camera on the International Space Station as uh, the complex and its crew members fly 257 statute miles over southern Argentina, about to begin a southwest to northeasterly trajectory that will carry a uh, the complex and its residents across uh, the Atlantic Ocean and the west coast of Africa a short time from now. Pressure is 20 millimeters and we have annunciation. And at 20 millimeters, sir, vacuum gauge, you may put the BSS into open AVA position. Copy.
так, есть 20 миллиметров. We have 20 миллиметров. Два открытого КД. And uh, going to open EVA position. И это хорошо, и ожидаем дальше до 12. The pressure is 18 now, so we are now waiting until 0.12. При 12 миллиметрах будем закрывать, начали закрываем КС-2, а потом будем закрывать КС-2, и 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 потом будем закрывать КС-2, We have 12 millimeters, so closing cast the two pressure relief valve. Copy that. Cast the two is closed. And closing cast the SO. Both pressure relief valves are now closed. And now MRM2, final leak check. Please tell me the pressure right now per the pressure vacuum gauge. Pressure is 11 and a half. Copy. Start five minute timer for monitoring. Data set seven is loaded. Point.
Олег, у нас три минуты контроля прошло. Олег, три минуты have elapsed in our monitoring uh, time period. Please report pressure in MRM2 on mono vacuum meter. 12 millimeters. Copy. Good. Now we wait another minute and a half. Affirm. And you can also prep for step 11 and cue card 7, switching to suit power. Okay, we'll do. Copy. Okay. It is time to start preliminary cooling of the suits. Set the knob to position 6. We need to cool the suits so that before the sublimator is ready for ops, you won't get too hot. Okay, I've got mine on six. EV2 also has six on the cooling dial. Okay, very good. It, is, it will be helpful to cool down suits in advance. Oleg. And we can uh, refer to mono vacuum meter since five minutes have elapsed. Okay, pressure is 12. One, two. Okay, so delta is less than two millimeters. Okay, this means the compartment is not leaking. Okay, now executing for cue card 7. Affirmative. Suit cooling started. Pressure in suit 037. EV2 has 036. Moving to suit power. Turning off backup pump and fan. Transmitters are on. Yes. Backup pump, backup fan, and the transmitter. This is Mission Control Houston. Inside the uh, Poisk airlock, the, the uh, pre-breathe of pure oxygen for Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Christopheretti for their Orlon spacesuits is now complete. The depressurization of the uh, airlock down to vacuum moments away from being completed, at which point final uh, systems checks will be conducted, supervised by the Russian flight control team in Korolyov at their consoles that you see in this view from a balcony camera in the uh, control center outside of Moscow. And at that point, uh, Artemiev will get the green light to open up the hatch to Poisk, marking the official start of today's spacewalk. Once you are on suit power, turn on backup fan, backup pump, and the transmitter. Okay, I got it. I see point one on the battery. Please repeat. Oleg, are you on suit power, both of you? Yes. And please confirm the backup pump, backup fan, and primary transmitter are on. Affirmative. And the lights. Oleg, second line on the screen. What is the value? AV-1 has 
28.1 volts. EV2 has 27.7 volts. Copy. Good. Please continue. Q card 7. Activating the O the U mode. The U mode deactivated. Indicator is off. Powering off. Good supply. EV1 off. EV2 off. Power umbilical demated. Okay, don't forget to close the covers on the suit. Copy. EV1, EV2, demated umbilicals, and are stowing the, those away. Please repeat. Don't forget to close electrical connectors with MLI. Of course, we'll do. We're now removing all obstacles. We're standing by for the uh, opening of the hatch. All of the uh, systems checks now complete. We're on the verge of beginning uh, the sixth spacewalk out of the International Space Station this year. Okay, the mating is complete, cables stowed away, ready to press on. And MLI is closed on the electrical connectors. The uh, two Orlon suits uh, for Artemiev and Christopher Eddy now on internal battery power. Yes, this is normal. You can assist each other with the umbilical connector. No, we're good. We are already stowing the connectors. Yes, you can close it off with the dummy cover. Okay, let's do it together. Okay, umbilical connectors are in place and not interfering. 
ОРК на скафандрах. Олег. Бэкпак коверс. Принято. Теперь БСС ставим в положение закрыто. Closed. Окей. Now BSS to closed. In work. Complete. Хорошо. Текущее давление по ДСК какое? Current pressure on the display. 0.36. EV2 has 0.36. Copy. What is CO2 value in the upper line on the display? EV1, 4.10. Voltage 2.7.9. EV2. EV2, 4.13. Voltage 27.5. Okay. We are done with the airlock depress, and I'm handing you over to Artem, who will support your EVA ops, and I will talk to you during airlock repress. Thank you, Dima. We'll talk to you later. And with that call through the interpreter, the uh, depressurization of the Poisk airlock down to vacuum, now complete, standing by for the opening of the hatch. So it's time to go outside. Indeed. Okay, so let me first give you a big picture. We are in no rush. Priority is safety, tethering protocol for the crew members, for the hardware, and the error. When ground tells you to take a break, please take a break. If you if, even if you feel well and ready to move on, you will have to follow the medical team's guidance. Copy that. Well, that's all I had for big picture words, and now we can move on with the ops. Samantha, you are near the EV hatch. You are able to read the instructions? Yes, I confirm. Copy. You have tethered yourselves and the hardware? Affirmative. And the suits are also tethered inside MRM2, correct? Confirm tethered with one long and one short tether. Okay, in this case, you are going to open EV hatch. Samantha, please move the hatch opening mechanism to operational position. Okay, I, I am looking at the instructions and at the handles. The handles are facing each other. I am beginning to work the hatch tool. Copy. And I confirm that we are in the good config. Copy that, Oleg. I, I do have a better view here. Okay, the controls are in the operational position. Copy that, Samantha. Now let's move it to the uh, opening position. Okay, the rollers. Rollers disengaged. Okay, full to full stop. 
inaudible. Hatch opening underway for the Poise Gear Lock. Okay, I am pulling till this full stop. Okay, try one more time. Are you holding up? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, all rollers have disengaged. Copy. I see dust specks flying out. Okay. It is it is starting. So pressure is holding. So uh, am I I'm pulling, not pushing. Yes, pulling. Okay. Okay, I see the dust particles flying towards you. And they are accelerating. Looks like there is a crack in the hatch. The hatch cracked open. So we have hatch motion. Okay, grab the tether hook. Slug. Towards the cover, the red one. Okay. There it is. And now back. Okay, we are proceeding with full opening of the hatch. Samantha, move away just a little bit. Uh, something interfering? Yeah, the there is a spring action on the hatch. It's going to the original position. Okay, prop it up. Use the hook. Yes, like that. Okay. This is better. I think I'm bumping into something. Are you holding? Yes. And I will tether it up. Are you tethered, Samantha? Yes, I am. Good. Okay. So this is not important. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, hatch to the Poisk airlock is open. The official start time of today's spacewalk, 9.49 a.m. Central Time, 10.49 a.m. Eastern Time. The uh, two spacewalkers are Temiev and Christopher Reddy, running uh, about uh, 50 minutes behind the uh, pre spacewalk timeline that had been established and now uh, will begin their spacewalk activities by installing a protective ring around the circumference of the poise catch before they uh, make their way outside of uh, the airlock. Christopher Reddy first, followed by Artemiev, with the first order of business being the deployment of the 10 nano satellites, uh, one after the other, several seconds apart, part of a uh, radio uh, technology experiment. Again, uh, today's spacewalk underway, the official start time, 9.49 a.m. Central Time, 10.49 a.m. Eastern Time. Yes, I see. Bend at the knee. 
First bend the right leg. Now left leg. And bend again and raise. Okay. Okay. okay, did you take the ring? Yes. Okay, now you have to move up a little. Okay. We should be seeing uh, the uh, two spacewalkers shortly. Uh, the hatch is open. They're basically uh, on the opposite side of this view of the Poisk module, and at the very top of your screen, the unpiloted, uh, one of the unpiloted progress resupply vehicles at the International Space Station. The long pole that you see to the right of Poisk is uh, one of the two Strela booms, telescoping booms that are used to transport crew members and uh, hardware. Uh, from one area and one workstation to another outside of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Artemiev now in the sixth spacewalk of his career. This is the first for Samantha Christopher Reddy. Oh, you are stuck against the hutch. <laughs> Okay, now, do you see the ring? I'm handing it to you. Okay. Now, turn. Inaudible. Okay, looks good. Do you see the mark? Not yet. Okay. I'm stuck again. Okay, hold on. Once uh, the two spacewalkers do come into the field of view, Artemiev uh, will be wearing the suit with the red stripes as EV-1, extravehicular crew member number one. Christopher Reddy wearing the suit with the blue stripes as EV-2. Artemiev's uh, helmet camera uh, will bear the number 16 on the lower right-hand corner of your screen when we do get those views. Christopher Reddy's helmet camera will bear the number 20. Yes, yes, like that. Yes, like this. Perfect. It's in place now. Oh, hold on. Okay, uh, move it just a little bit under the lock, under the latch. Like this? Yes, yes. I think it's installed on my side. Okay, uh, let me untangle you a little. So is it okay now? Yes. Okay, now let me go under and here, and it's done. Thank you. 
Олег Саманта. Олег Саманта. Когда будете там Go ahead. готовы, будет возможность When you're ready. включать сублиматоры. Первое, Саманта. And have a moment. Please turn on the sublimator. We'll, we'll have Samantha turn on the sublimator first. Okay, Samantha, turn to me, open the visor. So we'll go for the sublimator activation. Yes, you are going to activate the sublimator in position three. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, just an update on the start time of today's spacewalk. Uh, the flight controllers in Moscow have revised the start time by one minute and now are calling uh, the official start time 9.50 a.m. Central Time, 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time. So a one minute change based on uh, the data received at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow. 9.50 a.m. Central, 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time, now the official start time of today's spacewalk. Yes, go ahead. Yes, from my side, it's installed very well. On this side, it's a little loose, but maybe it's okay, it's to be expected. Has it been secured on your side? Yes, uh, on my side it's secured and well. I think it's in place, I think. Copy. All right then. Is that okay for you, Samantha? Yes. Then let's uh, turn around. Do you see the hook installed? So take the first hook and install it outside, hook it outside. Yes, Samantha, you have a go to go out. All right. Okay, I have connected the hook to the handrail, illegible. So, Samantha? This is Mission Control Houston uh, with the hatch to the poised airlock open. Again, the official start time, 9.50 a.m. Central, 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time. The 251st Spacewalk in support of Space Station Assembly Maintenance and Upgrades now underway. Samantha Cristoforetti making her way outside of the Poisk airlock. We are uh, handing over between satellites on the tracking and data relay satellite system. We don't expect to uh, regain video from uh, the no, orbital outpost uh, for about 15 more minutes. ERA adapter first, and only after the ERA adapter, we will be sending the nano satellites out. And shall I install the camera? Yes, please install the camera. We'll do. Now, we are going out, and we'll take all the bundles with us. Yes. And that call uh, from the uh, flight controllers in Koryov indicating a uh, swap in the order of tasks for today's spacewalk, we'll, uh, informing uh, Artemiev and Christopher Reddy now that the first item on the agenda will be the temporary installation of uh, the European robotic arm adapter on the Poisk module. Uh, which is uh, where they're exiting at the at the moment. Yes. The temporary installation of this adapter on a base point, as it is called, basically a grapple fixture on the Poisk airlock, is designed to prepare for operations to relocate the Naoka airlock from the Rosviet module to Naoka on a future Russian spacewalk. Sounds good. So the deployment of the 10 nano satellites as part of a radio technology experiment uh, is being moved down one notch in the order of tasks for today's spacewalk. The installation 
of uh, the adapter for the European robotic arm uh, to support uh, the future movement of the uh, Naoka airlock from Rosfiat to Naoka. That uh, now will be the first order of business for Artemiev and Cristoforetti. You can turn on the SCR sim system and check that the toggle switch is in, working in the middle position. Mine is in middle position, and so is Samantha's. And the switch, warm cold, put on a zero mark. Mine is at zero, Samantha is at zero. And now we can turn on the STR, ASTR system. Yes, it should be in the mid position. Yes, I copy. Mid position. And we confirm mid position for both of us. We copy. Just because we had a little delay, then we are taking the bundle out first. So bo can you confirm, Samantha, that both of your tethers are outside? Yes, both are outside. I confirm. Excellent. Samantha, in that case, uh, please uh, take time to adapt. Have a look at the surface of the station. Just get oriented. Look at the work locations. Get adapted. Uh, get adapted to the visibility that you have, just so you're more comfortable. Will do. Uh, more or less, I've oriented myself. I can see things on the surface that I was expecting to see. The uh, my first hook is at 60.35, and the second one is a little further away. Yeah, move it a little further away, the second hook. Maybe closer to the straight line. Okay. Don't be in a hurry. Take your time. Samantha, do you think you'll be able to attach a straight to the hardware, or you need to have an interim position first before you move closer. Either way, you don't need to move far. The hook. Yes, yeah, Samantha, don't go far. Just as long as you can reach with your hand, that's all that's important. Okay, then for the time being, let's hook it here. Yes, that's a good idea. Now, we start taking the satellites out. We copy on the ground. Yes, and I can see that. I see. Oleg, have you looked at the protective ring or you haven't had a chance yet to look at it? I'm looking at it right now. It's in process. It's just I have to reach out towards him first, towards it first. Once again, to recap, uh, the two uh, spacewalkers, Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Cristoforetti, are uh, making their way outside of the hatch to the Poisk airlock, which was opened at 9.50 a.m. Central Time, 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time, to mark the official start of today's spacewalk. We're about 16 minutes into the excursion, and they've reordered uh, the first couple of tasks on today's agenda. The first order of business now will be the installation of an adapter on the Poisk airlock from which they are emerging. The temporary installation of this adapter for the European robotic arm sets the stage for, for the relocation of the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module airlock from its current location on the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the station to Naoka on a future Russian spacewalk. Once that's complete, then they'll double back uh, to uh, undertake the task of deploying 10 small satellites, 10 nanosatellites, uh, that uh, are part of a radio technology experiment. So I was able to connect to 5028 handrail. 
And the second satellite. Okay, let's do that. Help out. Just maybe secure it in the center. Let me help you. Will that work? Just wait, wait. We're uh, in between uh, video capability right now uh, on the International Space Station from our tracking and data relay satellite system. We expect to regain uh, the downlink video in about eight minutes. And uh, we should be getting shortly thereafter our first helmet camera views. Artemiev's helmet camera will be marked with the number 16. Christopher Eddy's helmet camera will be marked with the number 20. You have a chance. Could you please uh, verify the position of the warm, cold switch? It should be at zero. Well, you told us mid-position, but now you're saying that it should be at zero. Yes, put at zero. Yes, mine is also at mid-position. Okay, it should be at zero. The manual switch should be at the upper position, should be zero. Well, we just heard the instructions that it should be in mid-position, and that's what we did. Yes. We, we verify it after we activate the ASTR system. Then we put it in the mid-position. But now for work, it should be at zero. Okay. We confirm both have zero. All right. Now we are looking at the next bundle, and we have this uh, tether, which is the longest. So we'll put um, this bundle at the furthest location. So let's save this um, hook and this uh, tether for that purpose. We'll do. All right, now. So let me just uh, loosen it up a bit. That's about 30 centimeters. Should be enough. It will give in by 30 centimeters, and that's perfect. That works. That's good. And then the first the hook will be attached to 6037. Excellent. Now the second hook should be moved here where your hand is at. All right, so now we reach the ring. Now the second hook is attached. I don't think we have enough room here. We copy. In that case, uh, maybe while you're moving the bundles out, we should attach them further away to give you enough room. Let us have a look. Now, how many do we have? Two. Two satellite bundles. Okay, that's good. In that case, let me move this. Thing a little bit closer. So, and then we have camera. Don't forget the camera. Yes. Let's do this. I'll give you the camera. Then you'll give me space. And you'll install the camera. And now go and bring all the rest of the bundles. So, while I'm preparing that, you can install the camera. That's a good plan. All right. Excellent. Look. Excellent. I've secured. So now we are getting out the third bundle of satellites. Copy, and then you will install the camera later. I'll give Samantha the camera after this. Artemiev in the process of uh, pulling uh, several 
so-called bundles outside uh, of the Poisk airlock and securing them to tethers right outside the hatchway to the airlock. Those uh, bundles uh, contain the 10 nano satellites, which uh, he will be deploying after uh, he and Christopher Reddy complete the first task, the newly reordered task of installing an adapter for the European robotic arm on the Poisk airlock uh, that will be used uh, later in a future Russian spacewalk uh, to relocate uh, the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module airlock from the Rosviet module to Naoka. All right, maybe that will work. All right. And here is the second one to you. Oh, to your tether, the tether you have. Excellent. All right. Now I'll prepare the ERA adapter. Excellent. All right, ERA adapter has been moved closer to make room, excellent, and the hook, let's get it out, so the other hooks should be closer, so they're handy, excellent, and the camera, uh, Samantha, do you have the camera? Yes, I have the camera. And I hooked it to the handrail. Uh, it's actually securely installed with a hook, which is for the handrail transfer handrail. All right. And then the crew lock bag can be installed. Yes, and I have the hook outside, on the outside. What about the camera? Shall we activate it or anything? No, it's not necessary. Just uh, make sure it's securely sec secured. Well... And that's it. Yes, we have uh, verified the camera is secured, and I have verified again, and it's uh, installed in a secure way. That's excellent. Okay, we are starting.
both hooks are on the outside. I'm outside by half, two-thirds, and now fully I'm outside. All right? And uh, when do we activate them? Right now. Oh, Samantha, don't go yet. All right, let me turn it on for you, Samantha. Turn the cameras on. All right. Let me see. Okay, the green light is on. I confirm. And I can verify that my camera light is green as well, so it's on. So you have it on this side? Yes. Yes. The, the NASA camera? Yes, and the camera is here. The helmet cameras are on. All right. That's good. Let's make sure we have enough room. All right, on the left side. Yes. The camera is on. Yes, I confirm. One, two, three, four, eight. So, yes, uh, my lights are green. Let's let's do again. Yes, uh, 28 minutes into uh, today's spacewalk, uh, Artemiev and Christopher Reddy outside of the Poisk airlock, okay, continuing now. to set up all of their equipment in advance of the first task, uh, which will be the installation of an adapter for the European robotic arm on the Poisk module. Uh, to support uh, a future Russian spacewalk in which the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module airlock will be relocated from the Rosviet module to Naoka. The International Space Station is currently flying directly over Tokyo, moving from northwest to southeast at an altitude of 257 statute miles. One is turning on, but the second one is not activating for some reason. Okay, now it's working. Now it works. Yes, I can see the ground. I can see the earth. Yes. See, we've already went to the MLM. Okay, let's wa let's go. Wait. Can you look at me, Oleg? So is this camera, is it fixed? The position, is it a good position? Let's do it once again. So I'm looking at the camera. This camera is fixed in a fixed position. Yes, uh, I can see that. Please wait. Let me start it again. All right. Having regained our downlink TV capability from the International Space Station, uh, we are flying uh, over the western Pacific in darkness, so it's difficult to discern uh, exactly uh, what the two crew members are doing from the video perspective of things as we listen uh, to uh, the conversations ongoing between the Russian flight control team and uh, Christopher Reddy and Artemiev, who are setting up shop for their spacewalk today. So we'll know, uh, and then we can verify the activation by the LED lights. Well, we have so many cameras, it's just a lot of reporting. Okay, four. So you need to tell us which camera you're working on right now. Yes, we understand, we'll do. So we have one hook for ERA adapter outside, and then, then you go install the camera. The camera has been installed. Oh, you've installed it already. Yes. And I, it's installed. I just need to make sure the orientation of the camera is correct. All right. And I will go this way. Okay, I'll go figure all those satellites out.
All right. The crew work bag is here. So you'll secure it in this location? Yes. The first satellite. Okay, I guess they got mixed up a little bit. Maybe it's number six. All right. We'll move it this way. One and two. All right. This is the second bundle. We have everything is nominal. Oleg, Samantha, we are not receiving the view from your cameras yet, so request is for you to communicate a bit more until we get the video. All right. I am rehooking uh, the bundles, satellite bundles, a bit closer, so it will be more convenient for us to move them. We copy. And I am re-hooking the crew log bag to the ring. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. To the string towards the strela. Yes. To the ring. Okay, then I have to unhook it and rehook it again. All right. In work. Doing it. Yes, uh, the long tether with the ring. And we copy and concur. All right. So these are the nano satellites. And uh, bring them closer to the strela. And the short tether has been rehooked to another handrail. We copy. Oleg, we have started receiving an image from your camera, from your helmet camera. Oleg and Samantha, we are not receiving the image from your camera yet. We copy. One end of the fish stringer is attached, and the second side of the Fish stringer, I am rehooking. Our first view from uh, the helmet camera of Oleg Artemiev, the Expedition 67 commander, as uh, he begins uh, work to prepare for the uh, installation of an adapter for the European robotic arm on the Poisk module on a base point, as it is called, essentially a grapple fixture in uh, advance of a future Russian spacewalk in which. 
That adapter will be used uh, as part of the work to relocate the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module airlock from the Rosviet module to Naoka. That us to the maximum, and I think that will all work fine. Let me take the second one, and I'll do the same. I'll do the maximum length here as well. All right. And I'm also working with the satellites. One more. One more. Samantha, we have started receiving video from your helmet camera as well. That's excellent news. And uh, the helmet camera view from Samantha Christopher Reddy's helmet camera as uh, she prepares uh, the so-called bundles uh, that are uh, housing uh, the 10 nano satellites that will be deployed sequentially one after the other part of a radio technology experiment you have kit number two right yes confirmed those satellites uh, about one pound apiece measuring six inches by six inches by 13 inches 10 of those to be deployed retrograde from the international space station and then uh, you can Turn uh, to the right, uh, counterclockwise, you'll sit to the right. Turn around. The, I'll take this hook. Yes, go ahead. A good hook. Right. Very secure. Very secure. Perfect. Thank you. Kind of stuck here. So just don't move. No. Okay, thank you. This way. Thank you. There's a towel here. You want to wash your hands. Almost new. Here, yeah, Artem wanted to tighten this. Unintelligible. Yeah. Make sure you work with the hook here. All right. Okay, the second hook is connected. Copy. Press the ground. So the fish string is a bit twisted. Let us untwist a little bit. The second hook on the crew look back, that is the shoot second We would like it to stay the way it is. I understand. I just wasn't able to do it right away because I had to move this way. Copy. This way. Let's select this one.
отработаем третью кладку спутников. НСО-2. Принято. Папи. В принципе, у нас до выхода из тени осталось 10 минут. Тогда пойти по штатной циклограмме и подождать, timeline. надо будет всего лишь пару, пару минут. Когда вы дойдете, разместите, sun, можно minutes, даже you will set up. включить камеру. Как тогда такое Then предложение? Camera, and, uh, be more comfortable. What do you think about this idea? Okay, clarify, what exactly are we doing? Let's use the terminal, nominal uh, timeline. Uh, Samantha will put it to the uh, strela, then activate the camera on the bracket. You will set up on the operator post. In nine minutes, we have installation. And we're already prepared. You will be in the work site, on the work site, and uh, we'll have a couple of minutes to rest. Okay, so we are hanging the satellites at this time. Yes, deal with the satellites, nano-satellites at this time. So I'm removing one cover. Samantha, I'm removing one tape. Okay. So my apologies. Here. Maybe not remove the uh, cover, but remove the tape. That's what I said. Okay, copy. And now the tape is with the cover. You see? Just one, yes. We'll start with one because I have not secured this nanosatellite yet. Now I begin to place them. There are three of them. Is the fourth. And it's the fourth one. Now, there's one more here, and this is the fifth one. And now we'll disconnect this one. So, this is Mission Control Houston. As uh, we approach an orbital sunrise, Russian flight controllers are considering going back to the original flight plan to deploy the nanosatellites first before they take on uh, the task of installing uh, this adapter on the Poisk module uh, for the uh, future relocation of the uh, airlock for the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module. We're standing by for some clarification on that. No, the third tape. So. Copy, Alex. Uh, we lost the image from your helmet cameras. Okay.
Саманта. Саманта. Да. Ты застраховала Кирлок Бэк? Have you secured? Not yet. My second hook got disconnected, so I will still have to do this. Okay. Do you need some rest? No, no. Okay, then go to transfer handrail and turn on the camera. We have uh, three minutes to insulation. Some 50 minutes into today's spacewalk by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Cristoforetti, uh, the two spacewalkers are setting up all of their equipment outside of the Poisk airlock. It does appear as if uh, they will uh, go back to the original timeline here for the deployment of the 10 nano satellites, these small uh, radio technology satellites uh, that will be deployed one after the other. They weigh about a pound a piece, measuring six inches by six inches by 13 inches. And this one blew out. That uh, expected uh, to take place before uh, the crew moves on to the other work that would uh, start with the temporary installation of an adapter for the European robotic arm on the Poisk module. Uh, this uh, in preparation for the relocation of the uh, Naoka multipurpose laboratory module airlock from the Rosfiat module to Naoka on a future Russian spacewalk.
So there are three of them here. Are you able to see well? Yes. So when you have a time. Alex, Samantha? Yes. We are not receiving image from your cameras. Yes. 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 Yes.
есть, будет или был. А меня по вреде ходит. Алло, Эш. Так, небольшая передышка. Окей, okay, сейчас вот все вот. Принято, Олег. Принято, да? Смотри, сейчас у нас еще будет э, перерыв в видео. Да, no, Олег, we'll have видео. LOS as well. At this time, you will place yourself in operator post. Someone will be next to you, will hand the first nanosatellite to you. I propose you turn on your glissers for recording satellite deployment. And you will deploy when we give you a go at the time when we have image. Okay, let me get oriented to make sure the direction of deployment. Towards. So, counter vector. Okay, I'm on the operator post. You don't have video yet, correct? Video yet. No. I will turn on the glister. That will happen in five minutes. Okay. Glister in five minutes. Video. Okay. At this time, we will prepare nano satellites. I'm not activating the camera yet. I will prepare the second tether. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, just over the one hour mark into uh, today's spacewalk. We are uh, handing over between satellites on the tracking and data relay satellite system. We'll be regaining our video downlink from the International Space Station shortly as our Temiev and Christopheretti uh, prepare for the first task of uh, today's spacewalk, that being the deployment of 10 nano satellites, part of a radio technology experiment. This uh, being the 251st spacewalk in support of space station assembly, maintenance, and upgrades. The uh, sixth out of the International Space Station this year, the sixth for Oleg Artemiev, and the first for Samantha Christopheretti, who is the fourth European to conduct a spacewalk in a Russian suit. Then I will have to use my left hand or my right one. Let me see. Okay, I'm connected. I'm secured. I already connected one nano satellite to my red. Copy. Now, uh, no hurry. One and a half minutes till uh, forecasted video image. Да, в Гейле пост немножко по-другому стоял. Is it was oriented a bit differently? I thought.
Sure. Give me, your, give me your shoot, tell us, Samantha. That's why you are stuck. Give me your shoot, tell us, I will hook it up here. A little more. I will help you right here. This way. Alex, Samantha, we are starting receiving video. Yes, uh, just a sec, just a sec. Let us get situated first. Hold on, hold on. Need to secure you. You know where this, this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Mission Control Houston, a good view of uh, Oleg Artemiev, the Expedition 67 commander wearing the Orlon suit, bearing the red stripes joined uh, just to his right by Samantha Cristoforetti in the suit with the blue stripes as they uh, position the hardware for the deployment of 10 small nano satellites, part of a radio technology experiment. Now that we're back into an orbital sunrise, we do expect those deployments to occur shortly. Yes, the white one is connected. Uh, it is connected to the large red, and Samantha has just disconnected it from the small red on the fifth stringer. I'm releasing it. So the first satellite, I'm holding on to it. But we need to prepare the second one also. We can remove uh, uh, two covers at the same time. We will need to have a sh uh, short time. Not more than two, five minutes you have for deployment. Five minutes, okay. Momentarily, okay. Okay, let's uh, aim at the first one. You will uh, get adjusted that uh, the other ones will go more smoothly, easier. All right. Если Саманта чуть пониже уйдет, если Саманта gets a little bit lower, Саманта, там будет так удобнее тебе. Maybe you will be more comfortable in jettison up. It is easy. This is the best position for Саманта to work with the satellite. So I just want to to make sure she's good and, and her helmet is not in the way. That's all. Okay, let's try to turn it on, the first one. Yes, go ahead. Okay, the nano satellite is activated and it is blinking. Okay, wait, uh, the camera is hooked up to the... Uh, cover, uh, let me release it. I will turn on the camera. Uh, it, is, it is secured, it's fine. The camera is on. Copy. Okay. I'm not sure that the glister is aiming at 
It looks like I will also remove the first cover, okay? I will try. Maybe someone can secure it with the sure uh, tether. I can use adjustable for the satellite or no. Okay, let me hand this to you. There you go. Okay, I got covers installed and the satellite is here. Okay, I turned it on and I'm holding it in my hands. I, I was holding onto the foot restraint, but now it's pointing the other way. Yes, uh, and I am on my red. I am detaching it now. Is it time? Not yet. I'm getting spinned around a little bit. I need to be on the foot restraint. Okay, it's done. So remove the, the cover on my piece. Just don't pull on the hook. That's a very nice cover. And with that motion, I flew away. Now I'm back. I am ready to launch the first satellite. Okay, go to deploy. Okay, I see the Earth and deploy in progress. There it goes. Okay, uh, one rotation over. Okay, let me start again. Yes, we. We see good trajectory for the satellite. Okay, at one rotation per five seconds, and green light is flashing. Okay, so the first one is out the door. Now I'm taking my red. Uh, my second satellite is tethered by red. Am I going to remove the covers? Yes. Yes, guys, remove the covers right away because they might create interference later. Okay. Let's do this. That's okay. Let me hand you the hook so you can tether it to prevent flying away. Okay, use my red. Yes, I see it. Okay, I've got it. You can take yours. Done. Now I am taking the hardware, removing the hook. Don't forget to turn on the satellite and make sure the LEDs are on. 
Okay. LEDs. LED is on. Copy. Go to deploy. Deploy in progress. The satellite is off. The view from Oleg Artemiev's helmet camera as the second of the ten nano satellites begins its trek away from the International Space Station. One rotation over 16 seconds. Very good. Steady as she goes. Let's maybe satellite 10 will not rotate at all. Okay, let's not look that far ahead. Lest we impact the solar arrays. Okay, uh, now time to deploy the third one. Okay, my hook is ready. Okay, satellite three, I've got it tethered. With the adjustable the uh, third of the ten satellites about to be deployed uh, in this sequence, the first task of today's spacewalk, these nano satellites uh, weighing about a pound apiece in mass, obviously no weight in the absence of gravity, measuring about six inches by six inches by 13 inches. Uh, deal with the next one. Not easy, right? There you go. Okay, now the cover. Okay, let's use the adjustable. Okay, you hook it up and I will remove it. The International Space Station is tracking from southwest to northeast along the east coast of South America at an altitude of 257 statute miles. Oleg Artemiev at the top of your screen, Samantha Christopher Reddy just below him. Tether, tethered only to the hands, hook is off. Don't forget to turn it on. Uh, yes, I just need to maintain my position. Huh? It's difficult to see. There are covers everywhere. Uh, keep getting spinned around. Oh. They are actually different. They're not all the same. Okay. Satellite number three. The LEDs are on. Affirmative. The LED on the left is flashing nominally. I'm ready to deploy. Go to deploy. Satellite is deployed. Three down, seven to go. One rotation per 20 seconds. Okay, you want me to point a little lower. It's deployed retrograde at the 10 degree angle versus the previous one. And by looking at them, I think uh, they are uh, catching up with each other. A good view of the uh, Poisk module. That's uh, 
the module that houses the airlock from which Artemiev and Christopher Reddy exited about an hour and 18 minutes ago to begin today's spacewalk. On the right side of your screen, that giant uh, towering antenna is called the Lyra antenna that is on the aft section of the Zvezda service module, providing high data rate telemetry and video from the Russian segment of the International Space Station. A progress resupply vehicle docked to the aft port of the service module. Please turn on the satellites in advance before removing the tethers. Okay. Do you want me to go around the orange one? No. This will have to be removed. That's okay. You can re-tether with, with the other hook and you will have a completed circle. Okay, I'm tethered with this one. So they told us to turn on the satellite in advance. Do I do you need this hook? Which one? The one I'm holding. You can attach it anywhere. This is the hook for the tether that holds at the same time. Okay. Okay, removing the cover. Okay, let's tether the cover. We can use it like the last time. Uh, yes, I already tethered with my hook, and I'm removing your hook. So, got the hook on the cover. What about this tape? Is it tethered? Yes, I have tethered it. That's a pretty good tape, eh? Yes, good quality tape. I think we have this tape on other kits as well. Yes, we have three of those. The uh, picture you're seeing uh, depicts uh, the image of Konstantin Sholkovsky who is uh, dubbed as the father of uh, Russian space flight. Several of these uh, nano satellites are named after him, part of a uh, radio technology experiment as Artemiev uh, prepares for the fourth in the series of 10 satellite deployments. Yes. I did turn it on right after you told us to turn on the satellites in advance. Okay, then get make it ready for deployment. Okay. Now red. Red is removed. Aiming. I see the previous satellite and I am deploying in the same direction. And the fourth satellite is away. Samantha Christopher ready in your field of view. One rotation. The uh, fourth satellite uh, having been deployed as the International Space Station flying from southwest to northeast just off the east coast of Brazil. Of the previous one. Very good. We are going with the rate of four satellites per 11 minutes. Good rate. Copy. Okay, uh, number four is secured with the small red. Okay, Here's the, here comes the hook. We do need Sergei Samburov here. 
still up. Okay, which satellite are we doing now? This one? Okay, let me tether it. Okay, now remove yours. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of items there. Okay, you can remove the closest one. There you go. Yeah, I see the orange ones. Well, I got my cutter. If all else fails. Guys, don't forget the cutter is in the crew log bag. True, but I still have it. You see how well we have tethered those satellites. It is difficult to untether them now. Okay, so this is tethered, so we can remove two hooks. So they are all on at least one tether, right? Yes. You can attach it to the MZ. Copy. Okay, I'm... Okay, attaching tether to the cover, turning on the satellite. LED is not coming on. Trying again. Now LED is on. Copy. Okay, now we just need to overpower this tape. And this is a very good tape. Is this the last one with the tape? I know. I think Samantha has a few of these. Copy. Okay, pulling. So it's now it's easier to remove the cover. Cover is off. Copy. Tethering in place. Cover is still here. I removed the hook from the red. Going back to my initial position for deployment. Okay, we, Samantha, we are a launch complex, but we are powered by our muscle strength. Yes, indeed. Ready to deploy. Go to deploy satellite 5. Okay. Uh, along the same trajectory as the last one. Off it goes. One rotation there are 20. And the fifth of the 10 nano satellites has now been deployed. Well, the satellites are already against the Earth in the background. Okay, I'll, I'll help you. So, uh, the satellites are getting ahead of the station. Okay, let me assist you. I need the cover. Yes, yes, let me get the hook ready. 
Okay, got it. The cover is not tethered yet. Okay. Let's do it. Okay, got it. Okay, this tape, this tape is so good that it's not letting me get around it. No, no joy. Oh, I think my my winch has pulled it in. Okay, I'm done with the winch. Can you read? This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, to recap, uh, you're looking at Oleg Artemiev uh, in the suit with the red stripes. Next to him, Samantha Cristoforetti of the European Space Agency. As they are about an hour and a half into uh, today's spacewalk that began with the opening of the Poisk airlock hatch at 9.50 a.m. Central Time, 10.50 a.m. Eastern Time. They're uh, halfway through uh, the deployment of 10 nano satellites, very small radio technology satellites. So the first task of today's spacewalk that uh, will then press ahead with the installation of platforms and adapters, the replacement of a uh, camera light unit uh, protective window on the European robotic arms end effector and uh, the setting uh, of an external control panel for the operation of the European robotic arm into what is called a stowage mode. All of these tasks that will follow the completion of the deployment of these nano satellites designed to set the stage for the operation of the European arm, the 37 foot long arm that launched on the Naoka module uh, last July from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan that will set the stage for the future use of the arm to continue outfitting the Naoka multi-purpose laboratory module itself. Okay, now this is easier. Need to go back. Oh, am I? Samantha, please take a look here. Oh, yes, yes, uh, you caught up on my camera. Okay, now it's good. Okay, I see the satellite aiming, removing the tethers. LED is on. Copy. Ready to deploy. Am I go? Yes, go to deploy. Three, two, one, go. Six of the ten nano satellites now having been deployed by Artemiev. About 45 at 45 minute distance from the previous one. Copy. The International Space Station has crossed uh, the west coast of Africa, moving from southwest and northeast along the border between Mauritania and Mali. One rotation over 17 seconds. Copy. Okay, moving on. 
Okay, I see the satellite. No, not like this. Uh -huh. Put it at the right angle. Yes, yes, like this. Okay, I got this one. Satellite is tethered. Turning on the satellite. Satellite is on. Okay, now the cover. Yes, the cover. LED is on. Copy. I am re uh, swapping your hook to the cover. Okay. The cover is off. The cover is tethered to the hook. Copy. Go to deploy when ready. Okay, just let me get my bearings. Okay, removing the tether. The tether is removed. Okay, we see the previous satellite. And one, two, three, go. Yes, go to deploy. Off it goes. Now let's count the rotation time. Over the border between Mali and Algeria, the seventh of the ten nano satellites now in flight. This one passes close to the solar array. Oh, it touched the battery. Touched it another time. That's the last contact. Okay, Oleg, then the next satellite needs to be sent at a somewhat different trajectory. Right. It's just that I was aiming towards the wake of the previous satellite. But I think it is okay because the first contact was very mild and the second contact was uh, at the frame. We copy that, Oleg. But nonetheless, make sure they go past solar arrays without contacting them. Copy. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, tape. Again, excellent, wonderful tape. Hopefully it's the last one. Okay, so now we can take any one of the satellites. Okay, first I need to tether the tape. Well, we can use a keeper and red for it. Okay, I got it tethered. Mm -hmm. Good time to say hello to the surgeons. Okay. The, any of the satellites? Oh, the tape. Yes, I see what you mean. In about three minutes, uh, we'll have unstable calm. Therefore, Oleg, if we don't have the time to send off the remaining 
satellites, then just uh, please voice everything as you are launching them off. We'll do. Okay, now let's do it on this side. Again? Yes, uh, keep rotating. Towards you. Which side? Towards you. So with this hand. All right. Now I understand. Once you're done with this uh, nano satellite, could you please uh, activate the IRCA camera, the ERCA camera? Oh, it's not on. I was told it is not on. Just be careful. Yes, yes. Yes, careful. Let's do it this way. That's a different sticky tape. Oh, I just don't see the end. Uh, it's kind of tangled up or something. Yes, yes, I understand. Okay, the hook. On the side, it's coming to the second. Yeah, that's a, from a different one. Yeah, move it to the side. So remove it and put it to the side. Okay. Yes. You have it on your side, Ola? Yes, I just left me. Samantha, could you please adjust the coil so the tether will go inside? Okay, we'll do. Do you see it's moving inside? Yes, it is. All right. We just need to hook them closer together, and you pick up this one, and we'll just be busy with this one. All right. Safety tether. And now you get this end with the string and with the ring. Maybe it got loose or something. All right, wait, wait. Uh, could you please secure the cover? The cover you Three more nano satellite deployments to go. These uh, nano satellites, part uh, of an experiment. Uh, to collect data right, on uh, radio electronics. Okay, now it is. Oleg Artemiev uh, in the suit with the right. red stripes, joined by Samantha Cristoforetti of the European Space Agency that you see in her helmet camera view of things as uh, the two spacewalkers prepare the uh, eighth in the series of 10 nano satellites for deployment. I uh, will stay with you, Samantha. So I've removed the cover on my end. Good. And we can confirm that LED is on, and we are taking the right position. Removing the hook. All right. We'll look where the satellites are located at. So they are on the left side, speaking simultaneously. Did you confirm that LEDs are on, Oleg? Yes, I have. Uh, the cover is off, OFF. It's on the right-hand side. Let's go. We copy. Oleg, can you switch uh, to your camera, Oleg? Can you turn it on? All right. We'll do. Samantha, let's turn the cameras. Cameras. All right. 
-hmm. And you try it on your side, Samantha, also. What about the second one? I've got it. All right. Let's look. Eight out of ten satellites now deployed. The LED is not on on this one. Now the LED is on. I confirm. All right. Artyom, how are you? Yes, I'm here. Excellent. And are you ready? So I'll turn the cover this way so the cover is secured. And I've hooked to the ring. I'm holding it on my side. Very good. Is that okay? Yes, I confirm that's all good. Let's remove it from the hook on the side. Which one is that? Is it 92? It should be a 9. Oh, number 9 already. And after that one, you have the last one left. And that's it, guys. We copy. That's Things are happening very fast. That seems even strange a little bit, but it's life. Okay, we're doing another Cosmodrome right now. We're a mini launch pad, Samantha. All right, the LED is on, the green light is on. And uh, remove the tether, the safety tether. It has been removed, and uh, we are looking visually at the satellite. Three, two, one. Not yet. Three, two, one. Let's go. All right. These are different rota a different rotation pat pattern. It's going. Yes, I'm looking at what has been done, all right. And uh, the ninth of the ten satellites has been deployed by Artemia. Now one more to go. Ready with the next one. And I'm ready. And let's remove the hook. Excellent. So I am holding the satellite. So let's remove the cover. Are you holding it? I am holding it. I confirm. All right. Removed. That's right. That's right. Hold it. That's right. We're turning it on. It's on. The LED lights uh, in green are on. We confirm. And you have a go to send it off. All right, I'm just orienting it in the right position. All right. We have removed uh, the safety tether and uh, confirming that the LED is green and is on. We've lost our downlink video signal from the station as we move uh, between satellites on the tracking and data relay satellite system. 
Artemyev uh, preparing to deploy the 10th and final nano satellite. Uh, we just have only one left. That's the last one, right? Please wait. We had a drop in com for a brief period. Have you released it? Not yet. Yes, we can hear you. We can see you. We are launching it. We're sending it off. We copy. You have a go to send it off. It's on its way. Excellent. And the camera, do you think it's still working? Is it still on? Yes, so we have two more satellites. Let's turn it off right now, Oleg. Okay, turning it off. Okay, Samantha, take a rest. I am resting. You have six and a half minutes. All right, and Vietcher is off. Copy. Out of range uh, of a video downlink uh, signal for another m couple of minutes, uh, the final satellite of the 10 plan for deploy. Now on its way, all 10 nano satellites have been deployed. Yes, absolutely. You can take a breath. Yes, it's working very well, and it's controlling it on the side. That is excellent. Thank you, guys. Oleg Samantha, how do you feel? How is your comfort level? How is your fatigue level? Well, I think within a norm. Hey, are you kidding us, tired? We haven't even started working. All right. Inaudible. A lot of static on the line, inaudible. So all of the uh, deployment activity uh, now complete. It took about 40 minutes to deploy all 10 of these uh, radio technology nano satellites. That task uh, has been completed. The crew is running uh, behind on the timeline today. They were late in getting out of the Poisk airlock hatch, and all of the uh, setup activity took a bit longer than had been planned. The next uh, item on uh, the bucket list for today is scheduled to be the installation of a platform with adapters. So then I adjusted it, and now I feel comfortable. That's excellent. But we will see uh, how the Russian flight controllers uh, intend to reorder uh, the timeline tasks now that the nano satellite deployment work is complete. We're at the one hour 52 minute mark into today's spacewalk. And, um, you can adjust it by three degrees at a time. So if you need uh, an adjustment, feel free to do that. Yes, and my suitcase has some kind of peculiarity. It has some kind of with a lot of uh, effort. If there is an effort, then it acts up a little bit. Samantha, we didn't copy. There was a drop in com. What did you say? All right. All right, then. So the covers are so good. Gennady Mikhailovich did not hear everything. Samantha, can you repeat your question? Gennady did not hear everything Samantha said. I had a question that ASTR is working 
well when it comes to cold. When during the training, he was telling me when we're using a lot of energy, then I have to go into the manual mode of adjusting ASTR, the thermal control. Yes, Samantha, you remember it well, and you're correct. So if you place the switch warm cold in a cold mode, so then the valve will be opening more frequently. If it's in a auto mode and the temperature will be at a lower level, yes. So I remembered that. That's great. Samantha, you guys took a little rest. Are you ready to press on? Yes, we are. So. We have two minutes for orbital night, so then the next uh, steps you'll be working with the covers and the adapters, then you'll have to turn off the camera at the bracket, and then you'll have to translate. The Strela. Yes. Okay, Samantha, let's look. So these cameras. So you just work on the camera side. And I will go work with the covers and try to take care of them. We can do it together. Do you want to do that? No, I don't need to. Do you want to unhook and rehook? Yes, sure, let's do that. Let me just finish the changing of my position. All right, I've uh, rehooked. Okay, now go back in the previous direction. Now it will be dark. All right. I'm going to quote the position of the fish stringer. So from the post of the cargo boom, the strela, I copy. And I don't see it on this side. I see it. Maybe you just put uh, the tethers uh, and the fish string on one. Yes, we'll do it as required. We'll do as required. Not a problem. We'll just take our time and do it. It's what's important is we don't grab the strela tethers by mistake. No, no, don't do that. Of course not. You have all 12 with you? Yes, I confirm, because the image right now is a little dark, so we cannot tell. Understand? Maybe I can send you a sunny bunny, if you like, from the mirror, so you can see better. What can I do, Samantha? How can I help? I don't know where to hook. Uh, I'm trying to locate and uh, a vacant rail. So just, Samantha, look down. There is a circular handrail, and uh, you can use that. Okay, let me look. Oh, you want to take those covers with you? Oh, no, that's the tape. The sticky tape? No, that's the red tether. 
All right. Yes, I confirm. That's the red tether, the large one. I don't think you need it anymore. Sure. This is Mission Control Houston approaching the two-hour mark into uh, today's spacewalk. Oleg Artemiev wearing the uh, Orlan suit with the red stripes and Samantha Cristoforetti of the European Space Agency in the suit uh, wearing the blue stripes have uh, completed the first task of uh, today's spacewalk. The uh, deployment uh, manually by Artemiev of 10 small nano satellites, radio technology satellites, that uh, were deployed uh, retrograde from the International Space Station. They're all on their way. The um, work is ongoing now uh, by the Russian flight control team uh, to uh, firmly determine the next activity that will take place in today's timeline that uh, basically uh, is highlighted by the uh, installation of platforms and adapters for future Russian spacewalk work, the uh, replacement of a protective window uh, over the camera lighting unit, one of the two camera lighting units on one of the two end effectors or hands, if you will, of the European robotic arm that's on the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module and uh, the uh, setting of an external control panel for the operation of the arm into what is called a stowage mode. The bundle is smaller now. That's right. All right. This is uh, Strela's tether. Very good. Now, this bundle is here. Are all your lights on, Oleg? Samantha, show you. Yes. One, two, three, four, and five, and six, and eight. Yes, all of them are on. Plus, we have two LEDs from the camera, and they're on. All right, we're just looking at Samantha's camera. It's a little bit dark. Well, it's an orbital night. That's right. So one hook of the bundle is holding the tethers and covers uh, on MRM2. We copy, and I think once you're inside, you can keep it on one tether. But the second one should be utilized somehow also. I think it's better if it's more secured. I think it's better so it doesn't escape. I think securing it with a second tether would be better. All right, and you can hook a hook by the next hook. You can do that one after another. Yes, yes, that's what we can do. And we'll do that, and actually it has been done. All right. That's excellent. Cool. Wait, wait. We need to translate ourselves there first. Yes, before. Yes. And uh, you can uh, adjust Samantha's camera. Can you look at Samantha? Yes. We see the image of the control panel. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Samantha, we have three more meters. All right. 
So I'm at the hatch, Samantha. That's where you are. So what did you say? Bundled up? Yes, the camera, the hacker camera. Needs a little adjustment. Yes, I think it's aiming to the side. Yes, I see it's uh, aiming towards the bottom. So shall I lift it up a little bit, your camera, or perpendicular? What would you like? Well, just try it out. Is that a good way? Now I think it's a little overshot. It's a little bit too much, it seems. Is that good? Will that work out, guys? Maybe move it forward. It's not moving forward anymore. That's at the extreme position. No, just move it lower. Just lower it up a little bit. All right, like this. Is that better? Show your hands, Samantha. Yes, excellent. That's very good. Excellent position. Very good. All right, then. And let's see where we are. The covers are here. Yes, protective covers are here, so we can see they are all inside. Samantha, you can rehook. Very good. Now we're moving it inside. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Both the era this for the adapter outside. We copy, Oleg. And now we're ready to move it out, move it outside. Done. Okay. You can see the adapter on the exterior of the station, and now the whole thing is coming out. Like this. Very good. And Samantha, you brought the camera right on time. Excellent. We don't need to disconnect you, right? So just. Okay, I see it's on an adjustable tether, the camera. Excellent. And then uh, unhook it either to yours or like just hook it onto your body tether. All right, I'm unhooking my tether. All right. Done. I'm picking it up. So is that off, if the camera is off, we've deactivated it? No, it hasn't finished the, the operations. It, I just switched it off myself. I copy. This view from uh, Samantha Cristoforetti uh, and her helmet camera 
looking inside of the uh, Poisk airlock, whose hatch uh, was opened uh, two hours, eight minutes ago to start today's Russian spacewalk between uh, Oleg Artemyev and Christopher Reddy. The first task of the spacewalk complete, the deployment of 10 nanosatellites for radio technology data collection. Now uh, the two spacewalkers are collecting the hardware for the uh, installation of an adapter for the European robotic arm on the Poisk module on one of its so-called base points or grapple points. The uh, temporary installation of that adapter uh, will be uh, to set the purpose of which is to set the stage for the relocation of an airlock for the Naoka module that was launched years ago on the Rosviet module on a space shuttle mission to the International Space Station. That airlock that is uh, still r residing on the Rosviet module on the Earth-facing side of the Russian segment of the station will be relocated through the use of the European robotic arm to the Naoka module on a future Russian spacewalk. That would uh, provide uh, the Russian segment two locations from which to stage spacewalks. The Poisk module that has been used recently and has been used today for this excursion and Naoka, which will serve a dual purpose as a scientific laboratory and a uh, location for uh, the staging of Russian spacewalks. Just make sure you're not hooking up. So it is heavy. So we will start translation as soon as Alec is out. Okay. I want to check what is in the way. I think it's swing arm is hooked on. No, it's your backpack. The backpack is uh, hooking on to the, onto the hatch edge. Okay. A, l a little more. Move forward a little bit. And now it's a swing arm, this in a way. See, I have to hold on to this adapter, otherwise I would guide you with my hand. It's okay. Let me just do it this way. Superman. You're a Superman. <laughs> it's dark in here. It's beautiful, though. Ah, this is how I got hooked on. Now we'll know. So we'll put the camera this way. And then we will turn it on. You actually can activate the camera now. But we are going to get out of here and then we'll come back just to make sure. Is the camera going to be in the way on closing the hatch? Why not closing the hatch yet? Okay, let it be here for now. And then we will turn it on, not now. Okay, now it's time to translate. We have to, time, time to go, time to go. So you go first? Yes, Alec is going first. And he's oriented the right way. Watch 
see if it is the others. Um, okay, this is the way we were supposed to move on. Right? On the circular handrails. And then to the right. Yes, okay. Hold on to it yet, for now. This way. These are our circular handrails. So, uh, uh, do you like everything? Yes, now I like everything. Well, at the moment, and you probably were concerned by other hand was on the other handrail, so I had three points of attachment. Okay. Let me get oriented. So this is the one I'm not supposed to touch. Okay, Samata, just one more moment. Okay. Then I will give you a hand. Okay, I am holding on and controlling. So the hook to here. I will have to release it. Okay, hold on, and then I will grab it. What did fly away? What was it? The uh, um, wire tie? Yes, wire tie. We'll, we'll fix it, but it just we will adjust everything. Just not not at this particular moment. Ten minutes. So the second hook this way also. If you hold on to this with your hand, then I will hook it up right away. I have a shoot tether. Then go ahead and rehook it. I'm holding. No, I will take this first one. No. It's okay. I will keep this one. Now, I'm holding it and, and you are rehooking to the further part of it. Grab on. No, we don't want to twist. Now you hold it, and I will connect 
the hook. We're not holding yet. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Now, let me rehook this hook. So it will be on my side. Now this one. Now it looks like it should. Stand by. I will get back. This one here. I'm holding now. Okay. I'm releasing. I'm holding, holding. Monitoring. Uh, now, course B. We passed this one. I can see the cube already. Translation, handrail and uh, clear. Yes, all of it. Uh, so this is what we are talking about is a, like a metal uh, boom that is a nominal uh, security area. You can uh, hold on to this uh, in translation. Which one is this one? Oh, this one, this one. So I can attach it here. Okay, this 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 pipe with a reel, yes. Something is in my way. These are the cables already. Okay, that's all as far as I can go. Now hold on. Holding on. Not so hard. Make sure your hand does not get tired. Okay. Now the cube, I can see the cube. Stand by. Let me find the right spot. So, so these are targets also. Well, the adapter and all, we have to be careful, keep out the zone. So this is the adapter. The adapter is here. Okay. And the handle is on the other side, right? The lever. On the side of the docking node. Yes. 
Также, Олег, ты вот сейчас располагаешься рядом с Олег, причаливания стрелы. Я also next to the area of стрела docking. Так, подожди. Ну да, похоже. Yes, it looks like it. Появилось сообщение на позвон. Три газа велико. I have a message here. Температура газа велика. Угу, да. Сейчас Гена все расскажет. Температура хай. What exactly? Unintelligible. Артем, а... Приняли, приняли. Ждем Геннадия Михайловича, но у нас такое... Copy. We have actually had that before. Это норма, но... It seems like norm. Геннадий Михайлович скажет точнее. And... Waiting for assessment by Pavel Mikhailovich. Okay. Выхода из тени у нас две минуты. We have two minutes before installation. Okay. I grabbed everything. You were saying the targets are somewhere here, right? Okay. I have it holding on, monitoring. How shall I proceed? Follow you? Yes, that's just be near. I will get closer. I will rehook the tethers. And we are in the right direction. Lock towards the cube. And the second tether where? To the circular rail. Okay. That's all right. Now hold on, and I will move forward a little bit more. Okay, I'm holding. Here is it. it is. Here is the cube. I see the lock. Are you holding it? Yes, I'm holding. Yes, I am. Okay, releasing. Samantha. Samantha. Yes. У тебя было сообщение, ты газа велика, да? So temperature of gas is high. That's the message you had. But then it disappeared. No, it. Было у нас на предыдущем выпуске. I'm beginning to gather the tethers from the kit of the first cube. Copy. And we will adjust the wire tie after installation, right? Yes, but whatever it tells us. 
Ну, там просто, наверное, будет э, проволока в этот момент э, направлена Probably. далеко от тебя. Probably it will be moved. It will be kind of far away from you at first. Okay. Может да, тогда поставишь фалы и поправим проволоку. Then let's uh, install the, the, uh, the tethers and then the wire. This is Mission Control Houston approaching the two and a half hour mark in today's spacewalk by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Cristoforetti of the European Space Agency. Again, the uh, 251st spacewalk in support of station assembly maintenance and upgrades. The sixth for Artemiev, the first for Cristoforetti, who today became the fourth European astronaut to conduct a spacewalk in a Russian spacesuit. The crew uh, got out of the uh, Poisk airlock hatch about 50 minutes behind schedule and took a bit longer than had been planned in the deployment of 10 very small nano satellites for radio technology experiment data collection. So by the clock from the start of the day's preliminary timeline, we're about an hour and a half behind uh, the timeline in terms of the clock for the day. The uh, two spacewalkers are pressing ahead to uh, set up uh, the hardware that they need for the next task, the temporary installation of an adapter for the European robotic arm on a so-called base point or grapple fixture on the Poisk module that uh, will be used in the future in the facilitation of the movement of the airlock for the Naoka multipurpose laboratory module from its current location on the Rosviet module to Naoka on a future Russian spacewalk. Alex, when possible, please activate HECA. All right. I will. Thank you. Санта, а ты вот сейчас, когда наблюдаешь, ты видишь зону, куда будем на стреле причаривать? Do you see the area of birthing on Strela? I see you looking right straight at me. Запущены цвета фильтров работали, я видел как при запуске спутника. Well, you, you also observed the area when you were deploying satellites, right? The, the light filter, is it lowered? Yes, it is lowered. Copy. It's actually not helping, helping against the sunlight. So I'm, I keep holding, right? Yes. Keep holding. One, two, one more I need, one more. So somebody came up with this configuration. How's that wire doing?
I need one more wire here. Well, first of all, it looks like it is not secured. Probably take one more wire. You know what? Don't waste time with the wire. Uh, let's concentrate on the main task. Okay. Yeah, I will need I will need to secure it, otherwise it will fly away. Regardless. Because it's not holding the shape. You touch it, it will lose it. Okay, let me uh, connect another wire, and then it will be good. Now it is not going to fly away. Perfect. Uh, we are done with this one. Now we'll continue rehooking and translating. Can you turn on your HECA camera first? Okay. That the one with the uh, uh, high resolution, right? Yes. Okay, I have two green indicators on. Okay. Hold on uh, to this, Samantha. I will continue. Okay, one hook is already attached. And now the second one. Okay, because of the sun, I'm not able to see exactly. Here it is. The blue one is in between the pipes. We'll take this one. Mm -hmm. Inaudible. It's a bit far away, that's why I'm going to attach it here. I have it. Now returning. This is the view of uh, Oleg Artemyev uh, in the suit with the red stripes, joined by Samantha Cristoforetti of the European Space Agency, as they work uh, in tandem to install uh, the European robotic arm adapter on the Poisk module for the future relocation by that arm of the uh, Naoka airlock 
that currently resides on the Rosviet module on the opposite side of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, but in a future uh, Russian spacewalk will be removed and relocated to be attached to Naoka. Okay, we got this one tethered. Let's make sure it is attached to two handrails. Okay, we got it on this handrail. Okay. So we got the platform with adapters. Just looking for the handrail there. It is. Got it. Platform with adapters attached to handrail circular handrail 6001. And the second handrail is longitudinal, 6037. Copy. Before you remove the adapter, please adjust the retainer on the error adapter. Retainer on the error adapter. Okay. What? what what do you mean retainer they, see this handle oh yes understand to, doesn't make sense to go back uh, for that let's uh, do it concurrently with the adapter ops okay all right so now removing retainer the platform with adapters is released. It is pretty heavy. Let's move it to the side. Uh, it is attached to this handrail. I am going to swap it to another one. Uh, so it is attached to different handrails. Okay. It is tethered to two different circular handrails. Actually, let me swap it a little bit further away. Okay, so this looks good now. It is not flying away. It is not interfering. We are coming up on a short LOS. Okay, we removed the cube attached to di two different handrails. And in order to avoid the need to monitor the status of this uh, hardware, we also tied it with wire ties. Copy. Okay, so the cube is a way of our work zone, so we can proceed with error adapter ops. Copy. All right, Samantha, it is your time to shine. So we need to orient. Yes, I'm. I'm going to. I'm going to. Spot you. Okay, we will have to rotate this by about 70 degrees clockwise. In the meantime, I'm going to hold it, catch some rest. Okay, we're back with you. Yes, we are getting Samantha ready 
for operations, and I am watching the kit era is over the uh, attachment point, but we need to rotate it by about 70 degrees to install. Okay, uh, two, three, five. Yes. Approaching the two hour 45 minute mark in uh, today's spacewalk, uh, we're in a handover between satellites on the tracking and data relay satellite system. The uh, spacewalk ongoing by Oleg Artemiev and Samantha Christopher Reddy as they work uh, to install an adapter for the European robotic arm on the Poisk airlock for future Russian spacewalk operations. And we have our picture back now, a good view of the Poisk module on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the complex. Towards, my, towards me, yes, clockwise. So, so I should move to the side. You can move up or let me, actually let me raise it and you can pass under towards the cube. Just watch for the tether so it doesn't get sna snag, snugged. Don't go between the tethers, go around tethers towards the uh, hatch window. Like this. Excellent. Okay, it got caught on the light. Let me release it. Excellent. So now you have to go down by about two feet. Don't turn towards me. Turn the other way. So you you have tether preventing you from rotating. Okay, so let's adjust that. Get it closer to you. Hold on. I think we are too close. There are two pipes, so it needs it needs to be further away from the cube. Just move the tethers to the side. 
Okay, it's too close again. Uh, you need to move about half a meter in the down direction. You can attach to the hatch handle. Okay, you see, you got yourself under the adapter, so you need to move down in, in the body, the body down direction. Oleg, were you able to install? Well, I'm still monitoring the status of the kit. And uh, I think that adapter is, is not easy to work with, Artem. So let us deal with with this issue first. Okay, now it's good. You see a hook in front of you? Hold on, hold on. Uh, yes, I'm trying to get there. Well, you see the orange tether. This is the era adapter tether. You need to use this. And your adjustable is overlapping with this one. So as you try to move, this entire setup gets raised. Okay, towards the cube. Go in that direction. I can't. Something is preventing me. That's right. You see this tether right in front of your face. This adjustable... Your adjustable tether is uh, getting snagged on this tether. So you have to swap around it. Oh, yes, like that. Now pull. Pull steadily. Like that. Keep pulling. Okay, now restrain it as far away as possible. And translate in the body down direction by one meter. Okay, uh, I'm going to help you. Okay, let me hook up here. Okay, you, Samantha, you take a break while I'm doing this. Let me get it in the right position. Artem told us to get done with the retainer, so we have to rotate it. No, the other way. Clockwise. 
More? Yes. This is Mission Control Houston, uh, just a few minutes shy of the three-hour mark in uh, today's spacewalk. Artemiev and Christopher Reddy running about an hour behind on the timeline as they continue uh, to work on the installation of an adapter for the European robotic arm on a base point or grapple point on the uh, Poisk module that uh, will be used in support of the future relocation of an airlock that was launched on the Rosviet module years ago during the shuttle program and which will be relocated through the use of the European robotic arm to the Naoka module during a future Russian spacewalk. Okay, careful. Okay, let me hold on to it here and you will set the direction. Okay, a little more. Okay, we need to reposition. Okay, did it install? Okay, now let's do the retainer. Actually, take a break first. Okay, we copy adapter is installed. Yes, Artem, adapter is installed. Handle is closed, retainer is installed. Copy that, guys. Please take a break. And for Samantha, please uh, reconnect HECA camera. Okay, let me help you here. I, I think the camera is on. No, the, it, it was the other one. You need to... Turn on the main camera. Okay, now it's working. Oleg, I have a request for you. Can you please shoot a video of uh, air adapter in your office? Yes, sir. 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 Yes, of today's spacewalk, minus just a few minutes. The uh, adapter for the European robotic arm has now been installed on the Poisk module. The crew is taking a break. We will uh, see what the Russian flight controllers have uh, in mind on the next task in today's timeline activities. So that uh, completes the second major task of today's spacewalk following in the wake of the deployment of 10 nanosatellites for radio technology experiment data collection that occurred uh, earlier in today's excursion. Samantha, do you want to be in the shot? It's actually getting pretty dark, so I don't know if you will be able to see anything on the video. I think what you did already captured is enough. Okay. Got a very good view of the ANO antenna. Okay, turning off the camera. Okay, guys. Uh, once you have had your break, please start translating to the platform with adapters. Okay, copy. Okay, 
now let let me handle the camera. Got two cubes. The camera is off. Camera is off. Pinita. Copy. Checking. Only one tether remaining, correct? Yes. Only leave one tether. Okay, now I have to get myself out of this site somehow. With the installation of the adapter for the European robotic arm on the Poisk module having been completed, uh, the crew uh, now will press ahead to the next task, which is the uh, removal of a protective cover from the uh, Naoka module's passive base point. Again, this is one of the uh, several locations on the module that house uh, grapple fixtures and installation points for various hardware. The uh, two spacewalkers, Artemiev and Krista Ferretti, will be installing a platform with an adapter on uh, the Naoka module uh, for future spacewalking use. Do not detach yet. I will hand it to you now. Okay, now you can pull. Yes. Pull on the tether, keep pulling. You got it. Are you swapping to your short tethers? Yes, on the cube. Let's take another look. We have three wire ties on this one, one tether and two wing ties with uh, wire ties with wing nuts. Okay, copy. Oleg, please check the handle restraint on the rod on the backpack. The handle is restrained. Do you see it on the camera? Samantha, please confirm the handle is restrained by the by pin. Yes, uh, I am seeing it. Maybe you you cannot see it on the camera. Well, if you move a little bit to the right. It's just that we see intermittent indication of open handle on the telemetry. It's not going to open the backpack, but uh, we would like you to check if it is restrained appropriately. Yes, I confirm it is restrained well. The pin is visible, and the two parts on the sides are uh, not visible. Okay, understand. Thank you for checking. Perhaps this indication was due to the jerky movements that we've been doing. It is possible, Oleg. Maybe this was the case, but when the suit is under pressure, this handle is very hard to move, so it's not a big issue, just to make sure. So, the telemetry is going to show us the handle is closed now. Okay, thank you. So we are swapping these hooks onto the cube? Yes. 
we don't want to lose this wonderful brand new hooks. So let me clear up the area around the cube. So now we are translating towards Strela, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. Looking in the MRM window, there is no body in the module. No. Try, trying not to get entangled by the tethers. Okay, got attached to two handles moving to the other side. On the handle. Okay, this is the safety tether. Yes, I see it. Okay. Go to that handle. The one next to the the hook next to your long tether. A little bit to the right. Here we go. Are you there? Hold on, hold on. Можете, пожалуйста, начать контролировать сейчас кубик, а то я видел, как ногами задеваете фалы, и он начинает летать. Олег, Саманта, can you please check the config, because I see you uh, contacting the tethers with your legs. Well, we have been busy with that handle. I understand, but uh, from now on, please uh, pay attention to this. Okay, so we see Strela. We are on the um, have, we are supposed to be on the MLM now. Samantha, you can move closer already. What about this hook? Take it with you. We'll hang it here. Okay, got one hook. Okay, attach, attach it here on this handle. Okay, so this one is restrained. Now take the second hook and also attach it to the handle. 
how am I to transport this? Well, we're going to use the second one. It has a second one. This one? Yes. We're going to use this one, and the second one you can return to the handle. Hold the kit. Hold it. Hold on. Uh, it's uh, behind the left arm. It's uh, by your left arm. Careful. Hold it. Hold it. So that's a wide handrail. It's hard to attach it. Are you holding it? I am. All right, done. Okay, I'm holding it on this side. Let me just move to the side a little bit, and then I'll start monitoring it on my side as well. I just need a bit more length. Okay, Strela is right here. All right, so I've moved myself further away at this uh, distance, at the right distance. Will you hold on to it? Yes, yes, I will do that. We need to move it slightly again. All right. That's it. I'm holding it on this end. All right. Are you still on, guys? Yes, we are. We are following you from the ground. Okay, Samantha is translating right now. We copy and we are observing the movement. Is it enough room? Yes. So take uh, one hook onto the circular handrail and then a regular handrail for the other end. 
So from your side, it will be towards your right. Just have a look. About one meter? About. Then the next one? Yes, are you holding on? No. All right. Let me have a look. See those two handrails over there? You see, to, towards the left? More to the left from you. From me to the left? No, I meant to say to the right from you. All right, all right. Do you think I can use that ring? Which one? What did you say? I don't think I can attach to the other one. It's a little bit too far. All right. And then I'll have to use the short, short, and the long. All right. That's normal. That's okay. Okay. We have come to the drum with the cables. All right, that's good. Shall I hold on to it? Yes, uh, hold it. I'm going to move about one meter away, so we'll have more room. Are you holding it? I am holding it. I confirm. Oleg, Samantha, we had a drop on com briefly. Yes. We're next to the drum, uh, which is uh, set up for the cable, so we're translating over it. So I am translating, and Samantha is uh, controlling the bundle. Copy, and then you'll have some flaps there that might also be interfering with your translation. Nothing is interfering with our translation. We are doing great. All right, that sounds great. All right, and we see the Strela part that will be getting a ride on, it's within the visibility, and then the crew lock bag is ready. Yes, so the crew lock bag is right there. And I can see that you were touching it with your foot, and that's normal. Yeah, I moved it away with my foot because it's kind of... Um, coming back and interfering. Now we see that it's rotated and back in place. That's good. 
And give me just a sec. Samantha? I am holding it right now. I have it. Okay, that's good. Crew walk bag. Can you see it? Yes, yes. We are getting a picture from the trust. So we can see it. We can see you guys. And we actually have a crib shed, but we have not been even using it. Well, you have uh, EVA PT is uh, three hours and 20 minutes. So we are uh, somewhat behind, about an hour or so. Yes, about. So that's fine. Okay, I have translated to that handrail. That's good. Let me move uh, out a little bit so you have more room, more space. All right. I think that will help. And then you can reach uh, the ring in that case. All right. Let me just move to that side. Well, and you don't have to, you can hold on to the tether here. So you look at the one that is closest to you, that will work. Exactly, that should be easier. And then I'm holding to a tether on the other side. And therefore you have some more room, Samantha. Okay, I'm just moving to the right. We have about eight minutes before we go into the orbital night. All right. And I have taken the short tether from the spacesuit and attached it to the ring. Oleg, we copy. And the second tether is also on the ring. So, and then I've got the bundle. That's good. And now I have another feather from the ring, and we are controlling the movement towards the Strela. Samantha is translating, and I'm controlling the position of the bundle. And uh, I've secured it at the end, and Samantha is making progress.
Uh, Do you see the video cameras? Are they still running? Yes. Oleg, we confirm. The cameras are on. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, cameras are on. They're working. Yes, the LED is on on my side. Yes, Oleg, and we are confirming. And can you see our crib sheet? Maybe not. Maybe you don't see that particular image right now. Samantha, please monitor the tethers uh, very well. Yes, yes, I'm holding with my hand right now as I'm moving the hook. Uh, 